This video provides a brief demonstration of Scribe's integration platform as a service. In this video, we're going to cover off a brief demonstration using a really sample, um, easy to understand use case of marketing automation and CRM integration. We're going to grab some inbound leads from our marketing system and get them into our CRM system for our sales team to act and react to. We'll see when we log into Scribe Online, we land in our dashboard. This is your command center for integration. Scribe's broken our integrations apart into three areas. Agents, which is where the integration is going to run. Connections, which is what the integration is going to connect and talk to. And then solutions, which is that magic in between of what the integration should do. So let's go ahead and create a brand new solution for this, this demonstration. Now my solution creation page, I can see here, everything lands in one spot. Everything I need to build and maintain this integration over time is right here on one page. I can go down, I can set up a schedule, let's say we want to run this uh, every hour of every day. So we go ahead and save that out. Now, now that I've set up the kind of outside areas of the integration, I want to set up the actual integration flow and logic. So I'll create that integration map inside my designer. Now the first thing I want to do is start adding connections. So I'm going to grab that marketing automation connection and say I want to pull some leads out of that marketing system. And then for each lead I want to do go into CRM. So I'll add that secondary connection for CRM and I'll use this update insert block and set that over to the right. So now I can see on the left hand side all my control blocks, all my, my blocks of action exist there. That is dragged over to the middle palette which is going to give me the design and flow of that job. And now it's up to me to decide what do I want this job to actually do. So I'll start with the query. Right here at the top level I can actually start to, to manage and maintain what this integration does through the metadata. So all these connectors bring that metadata up to the top and surface it so that I can see any standard or custom object or field that exists in these different endpoints. Now because I want to do either updates or inserts to make sure I don't duplicate data, I'm going to set up some match criteria. So for this example, let's match on email. And that I've set up my match criteria, it's time for me to create some, some actual mappings. So I can drag and drop that one to the next, so left to right. I can apply filters and logic, so if I want to make a change to this, I can hit that little FX button, select that value, and add, let's say, a clean to there, make sure that value looks good. I've got 90 different functions baked into this, this formula editor, which allows me to build out integrations and tailor it to whatever I need. If I don't want to map all those, I can just say select all on Autolink, and it will create matches between any field names that match exactly. So now that that's done, I can hit OK. And I can see I've got my little green checkbox telling me that I've accomplished everything I need, that the satis I've satisfied the basic needs of that metadata and that connection. So I can hit OK. This is now going to bring me back to my, my solution screen where I can have the option to run this job. When I run this job, it's going to tell it to, to function through the agent, execute that, that integration logic I just built, and on the bottom of this screen, I'll see it repopulate with information around the execution of that particular job. Let's go ahead and hit run, and I'll see that execution history will get populated. One of the big benefits of the platform is that everything is built on top of our public REST API, so each independent area refreshes automatically on its own. The platform's feeding information up to the UI instead of the UI having to ask for information from the platform. So I can see here that job's finished, and I've got my records processed, and I have my, my integration has been completed, and it's now ready to run every hour on the hour. Now, depending on your integration needs, this sample CRM marketing automation system most likely won't be the end-all, be-all of your integration tasks. So you can always go to the marketplace and find any other connector that Scribe offers. All of those connectors get abstracted into that middle palette where I did my drag and drop, allowing me to build integrations to endpoints. I may not understand all the nuances of those web services or other uh, web methods that get called in order to create that integration flow and logic. But because we have this abstraction layer, I can still really easily build out integrations, get them deployed quickly, and make them tailored to exactly what I want my integrations to look like.
So I'd encourage you to go ahead, go out, take a trial, and uh, give this a shot. Let us know what you think.